In this video, we'll learn how to draw an interior elevation of a wall with a sloped ceiling. I'm just going to sketch what I see here to show the overall picture. If I'm standing here and looking out this back window, this whole window is parallel to the frontal picture plane, so it is all shown true shape and size. I'm just going to sketch something to approximate that window. So here is this back window. But what if I'm standing here looking this way? What am I going to see? Well, I'm going to see this wall in true shape and size because this is parallel to the side plane. So I'll project this over and approximate what that wall looks like here. I need to draw the ceiling now and it is going to look like this. It's going to be foreshortened where this line is this line and there's a word for that. It's called the rake view. The rake view is a view of an angled item where you can't see the angle in that particular view. If I'm standing right here, right under the ridge, the ridge is this point right here where the two planes meet, then I can project that ridge over and that's how high the rake view of the ceiling will be. However, if I'm standing closer to the window, for example here, I need to know exactly where that call out is. For example, here's a little floor plan. There's the ridge. If I'm standing here, then I need to take a dividers and mark off this distance over here. And then I'll project that up and project it over. And that is how high the rake view will then look. So when drawing this, you need to know exactly where you're standing in the floor plan. If you're standing here, then just project the ridge over. If you're standing here, then mark off this distance here and then project up and over. If for a project, all you want is this wall, you're going to have to draw this wall also just to have something to project points from.